हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन गूगल एड मैनेजर सो विल स्टार्ट वेर वी लेफ्ट सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई कवर्ड ऑन योर सेटअप ऑफ गूगल एड एक्सचेंज प्राइसिंग रूल्स सो वी कवर्ड योर प्राइसिंग रूल स्ट्रक्चर योर प्राइसिंग सो वी कवर्ड वॉट्स योर टारगेट सी पी एम वॉट्स योर फ्लोर प्राइस एंड यू नो वेन यू शुड यूज गूगल ऑप्टिमाइज प्राइसिंग एंड देन वी ऑल्सो कवर्ड योर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स However, in this particular video tutorial, I'll show you how to do this in your GAM UI. So, last video tutorial was more on the strategical perspective. This video tutorial is more on the implementation perspective. So, we'll actually, you know, deep dive into the UI and show you what's going on. Also, in this video tutorial, I'll actually show you a pricing rule strategy that I personally use for my publishers, and you know. I also showed you a pricing rule strategy in the last video tutorial but it contains a flaw and it contains overlap so always remember guys whenever there is an overlap gam always chooses a pricing rule that has the highest pricing so this can lead to unintended pricing so in my this video tutorial I'll show you a strategy that doesn't involves any overlap and that is actually the best strategy for you and how did i come to know this i came to know this because i was auditing one of my publishers websites and i found that you know they had nearly 10 pricing rules but only one of them was getting applied so you know they had 10 pricing rules but their default pricing because they had a higher prices set up unintendedly so all the other lower priority pricing rules were getting nullified so i'll tell Tell you how do we avoid overlaps with that said let's jump into the video hello guys so we are in your gam ui and firstly i'll tell you you know how do you find uh, your pricing rules so you have to navigate towards inventory and go to pricing rules it's fairly simple now you know to set up your pricing rules you have to go and click on new unified pricing now here you see you know the pricing rules UI so the names of the pricing rules like uh, we observed in the last video tutorial and we found that we should set a pricing rule name for this so we can actually provide it a particular name now inventory uh, we can keep it all it is so you know this is a default pricing rule so everything uh, will remain all it is because you know you're not providing any particular targeting for this particular pricing rule now here is something that wherein we are talking about the pricing so here is where you set the pricing so you can set up your flow price target cpm and google optimized pricing so in this example uh, for this default pricing rule i'm just setting up 0.10 usd so i'm setting up 0.10 usd and i'm not clicking on save because you know uh, this is an account for a publisher and we don't want to actually uh, uh, you know have unintended pricing or uh, this is obviously not needed now for my next example we'll show you a pricing rules for add unit 2 so how do we target that now this pricing rule will be targeting desktop devices add in it to and it will be targeting a cpm of 0.50 so where do we target uh, the add in it so add in it is the first thing that you target and you can target it under inventory so here there are different add in it's but you'll not find add in it too you'll find your own add in it so you can simply search for your add in it and select it so here there's an example of add in it for instance i'm adding but this is not the actual add in it and this is just for your reference now where do you select uh, your desktop and mobile you can select in here in your device categories so in your device categories you can select desktop and yeah you can also select connected tv so one thing to remember is i usually club desktop together with connected tv and i take a feature phone smartphone and tablet and mobile so this is usually what i do when i refer to desktop i'm also covering connected tv in here and simply we have to set in a cpm so here we have to set in a target cpm so we come down here select target cpm and we provide in a target cpm now 
one important thing uh, to note is uh, you know there are various other sections in here and i will quickly cover them for you so right now we don't need it but uh, in case you need it for your particular use case how do you use these various segments available so these are all the available segments and i'll quickly explain to you all of them so in inventory you're already aware we are selecting the add in it then we have the inventory urls so url will only be available for publishers who create the urls obviously so you have to actually go in and create urls under your inventory and then only those urls will be available for you in targeting now if you use mobile apps all your mobile apps would be listed under this and you will be able to select in your ios or android application now coming to the geography part now in the last video tutorial if you remember correctly we uh, refer to various geographies so we can actually select in the various geographies an interesting thing is you can go as granular as until the dma so certain regions or specifically us and some tier one countries have much more granularity available than the other tier one or tier two countries so this is the same granularity that you see in, in the line item targeting and then uh, yeah you can obviously select your browsers then you can select your operating systems so and we have custom targeting so custom targeting is for your key values so you can provide in uh, all the custom targeting that you have set up so all your key values would be available inside the custom targeting then inside the inventory uh, type uh, we can actually select in your display mobile app or your in stream video so this is another useful uh, you know segment that we can use and we also have video positions so this is suitable for your uh, like obviously your you know video publishers so we can segment because between pre-rolls mid-rolls and post-rolls so pre-rolls are the video ads that serve before your video mid-roll as it means suggest in the middle of the video anywhere it can serve and post-rolls will serve at the end of the video and then lastly we have different inventory formats so you'll be able to you know set these whether you know you can set these for anchor banner in stream video interstitial or you know even the rewarded ads so with this i guess you know this is how you do it in your gam gui so last video tutorial was obviously pretty big because you know i was showing you the strategical part now strategical part is much more difficult wherein you are deciding what to do and once you are sure of what to do it's pretty actually easy to do it in your gam gui So now guys we are in your GAM UI back again and what we are trying to do is we are trying to verify whether the pricing rules that you are trying to apply are getting applied correctly. So to do that you have to navigate to your reporting tab and go to reports. You can simply click on new report and in here I have an example of a pricing rule that I already know targets a particular region. So that is targeting desktop devices for one particular ad unit, sorry. So I would go ahead and select in this particular pricing rule. And I'm already aware that this is the pricing rule name. So what I'm trying to verify is that is this particular pricing rules getting targeted to desktop and this particular ad unit. So how do we verify? We obviously pull up a ad units report. Uh, in the like dimensions and we also add in device categories then i'll add in the total impressions filter so i'm just checking in what are the you know what is the targeting of the segments getting pulled under this particular pricing rule so as you can see you know we are just seeing one particular ad in it and this is uh, targeting desktop so this pricing rule is indeed getting like you know is picking up in uh, impressions for the segments it, for which it was targeted so it's very important for you to verify this and avoid unintended pricing and if you have unintended pricing right now i don't have an example to show you but what will happen is 
uh, in this particular example if this was a pricing rules you'll see you know different device categories or like different ad units being targeted under this or uh, like coming under the report so this is what is unintended pricing you applied a pricing for desktop and this particular ad unit but it's also getting applied to other ad units this usually doesn't happen for these granular pricing rules but it definitely does happen for your broader pricing rules like you know uh, you might have a default pricing rules and then you might have like desktop adhesive mobile banner so you might see that you know your default pricing rule is also uh, you know picking up impressions wherein you have your specific pricing rules so yeah this is how you should actually verify whether your pricing is getting applied correctly please use your reporting for that now in this section i will actually reveal to you a pricing rule strategy that you can use for your publisher so this is something that is readily available for you and with that we will actually jump in back to your excel sheet so we are back in this excel sheet and here you can see that you know i've laid down three levels so firstly there's level one which is listing your device category level two is listing your, your down your operating system level three is your country and uh, i've not listed this as a level but this is also a level so we can mention in here level four that is your ad format so these levels are your segments and what i have done is actually i formulated a pricing rule structure wherein i am only you know uh, applying sections for the specific pricing so we are going from desktop to right now for desktop we are not delving into windows or ios because it's got nearly like similar cpms then we are delving into your country wherein we are selecting us and then we are selecting in sticky format in the earlier example we had a single pricing rule for desktop and you know we had for instance another pricing rule for your country so we had you know this particular structure but right now we are going all monty for your granularity so we are actually providing you with the best possible granularity for you know we have a separate pricing rule for desktop usc sticky format similarly we have another pricing rule for desktop usc non sticky format and, and we have continuing this for your canada and then i'm abstracting out so i found out that usa and canada for my publisher for instance they performed pretty well so i created separate pricing rules for this and then i have a section wherein i am just covering all the other regions now the country will actually depend upon your account so you know you might see different uh, like countries performing well for you so you have to go in to your reporting and actually see the countries that perform better for you and use this as your level 3 and yeah similarly when i come to mobile i am using uh, ios and uh, like android as your level 2 so in mobiles we usually see that the ios cpms are much lesser than the android so it makes sense to create separate pricing rules for your android and ios devices so we have done that so again we have a pricing rules for mobile wherein for ios and us in sticky format i'm actually applying this okay let me see i think the yeah this filter didn't actually get applied correctly so let me just correct this just give me a moment okay let's formulate this once back again so this is the sorry so this is mobile and ios and usa and sticky yeah so this is actually what i'm doing is i'm formulating the pricing rule names by concatenating these four things so you're aware for mobile ios usa and sticky you have a particular pricing rule so with this actually i think you should be able to get an example of a pricing rule structure that you can use and now coming to the actual pricing now see one thing that you can do is you can go to your reporting and what you can do is you can pull up 
a report for your particular device category or all the segments and then you can see the bids that are actually coming in so what we can do is i'll go in for device category desktop and in here you should see bid metrics yeah so this is a very crucial set of metrics that i'm using in here so this should be used as a foundation for you to get your pricing right so you are aware that your you know average bid cpm for your desktop is this so you can start with something that is here so this will ensure that you know you're not falling uh, like much off but it's always recommended that you try to push the market as hard as you can so like let's try to give an example of how i would typically set a pricing but this is not you know uh, don't use this as a hard and fast rule and come back to me that it worked so you should always run experiments and verify whether this is actually the best pricing rule strategy for you so i'm telling you something that has worked for me but it might not be the case for you so you know do test it out and run experiments now i am just selecting in devices uh, like category uh, is desktop then in operating systems okay then in level 3 let me list down the countries and in level 4 uh, we can select in the ad format okay so ad format isn't uh, available so it will be inventory format i guess yeah so what you can do is you can pull up this and you'll be able to get a fairly nice idea of you know what are your bids looking like for this particular region and this can be a starting point for you to set up your pricing so but as i mentioned i like to push the market as high as possible so i can start like nearly like 20 to 30 percent higher from your average bid cpm so here for instance if this is 0.47 then i can uh, go in for something that is like 30 percent higher into 0.3 so we can go in with something that is like in 0.6 range so this is something that i have used and uh, as an example that you know to give you a starting point now you have your starting point then you can you know go ahead and run the experiments but your bid metrics give you a very good starting point to actually set up your pricing and if you aren't sure you can simply choose google optimized pricing so simply use google optimized pricing and it should be all fine for you so yes i think this should be it for this particular video tutorial and keep looking uh, for more and i'll get back to you with more such video tutorials and please do like and subscribe my youtube channel and thank you for watching my video bye bye